Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you the I.O. port structure and latching technique, a very useful technique for extending the number of outputs of a system with a very limited resource. Okay, we start with the hardware calls the I.O. ports or the GBIO or the general purpose input and output module. This module, as in the circuit here, put inside a microcontroller, a microchip fix microcontroller. The function of this module is to generate or to create a logic level in the output pin of a microcontroller. It will set 5 volt in here or 0 volt in here or it read the signal whether it is 5 volt in the I.O. pins or 0 volt in the I.O. pins here and save it in the RAMs. Okay, in the RAMs to control the I.O. pins right here, we have the three register that associate with the pins as in the circuit. It's a D flip-flop. As you remember, the first one is the twist register. It is for data direction register. When you set it as one, it will function as input for the I.O. pin. This means you want to read the signal in the I.O. pin. You set the twist register into one. Okay, and then if you want to set the I.O. pins here as output or you want to generate or create 5 volt or 0 volt in the I.O. pins that you may control some light or some motors outside okay you set the three register here to zero okay zero for output the other register the port register for reading the signals of the pins when you set the twist as 1, you can read the signal from the physical world outside by reading the port register. The circuit here will convert any change from 0 to 5 ohm into 1 or 0 in the port register inside the RAMs. Okay, it's and the last one is the large register. It's for the output signal you want to set or you want to generate a signal 5 volt or 0 volts in here you set it 1 for 5 volt and you set it 0 for 0 volt in some old microcontroller like uh, 16f887 the very famous microcontroller they don't have the large register so they have only port register uh, so you have to write into the port register for writing a value into the I.O. pins right here. But it may find some difficulties or disadvantages like the read, modify, write issue. Okay, we will talk about it later. I want to remind you about the one-to-one -one relation between the RAMs or some register in the RAMs with the hardware or the RB0, RB1, RB2s here or RC. So one to one connection does mean the address of a register in the RAM, for example, register B here, the address is, is connected in a similar address. This one here, the twist B at the address 0 will take the effect for the RB, okay, and so on. The address 1, the bit 1 of twist B will connect with the R1 in the outside pin is the number 22 pins right here. Okay, when you set the values of the twist B at the address 0 from 1, 
okay you will set this rb0 as input and if you set it zero this one rb0 will set as output and so on with the other register like the port or the large okay i will draw some uh, examples here for example if you set the value of the large c here zero this you will get the rc zero as zero volt you set the address one of the large c for zeros here you will got the rc one similarly zero volt and so on the address number two of large c that means this rc will change according to the value this is this one one so you got the signals here five on is the connection i call it one to one okay in order to use the general purpose io you have to control the three registers here but also you have to take a look on the data sheet of the microcontroller in the data sheet you have to take a look at the section 9 io ports for example or in here in section number three okay in here uh, they will show you a very detail on how to use it an example in assembly language uh, what is the meaning of the register what is very detailed in any bit what is the default value after power on reset okay what is one min or what is zero min okay and then you will see the other table that is called the summarize of register associated with the port pins that means that if you have some pins normally it will have some other function other hardware modules like in here uh, there is some other functions here beside the general purpose io and in order to use the general purpose ios here you have to turn off the other function like in here is the analog reading modules okay it by default it will turn on okay in some microcontrollers it turn on by default some others it turn off so you have to look at the microcontroller you are using and then turn it off in here there's a normally there's a analog reading the comparator okay and the other function also you have to take a look at the microcontroller data sheet all right so this is the summarize of the the procedure first we have to turn off the other function and then select the io function and then you set the twist register for input set to one or output set to zero and then you want to read read the port pins and if you want to output the signal set the large pin okay for the programming like here if you want to set the twist a you have many ways like uh, you can display the number by the binary forms or this one here is for ra0 ra1 ra2 is very easy easy for us to see and remember or you can display the number by decimal form or this one okay for example the number 12 in decimal will display as 1100 in binary form and the other form is hexadecimal okay is the number is the real values is the same but the displays is different for you
in programming with XC8, we have a bit field definition. It is the compiler defined for you. So you can use the uh, formulas like a, the trisb, the trisb, and then bits and dot, and then the rd0 or trisd0 to manipulate or to change only one bit of a register D. Okay, in some case, I don't want to change the whole register. I only want to change some bit, one or two. So I use this bit field definitions here. It's a union and struct. You can define your own. But the compiler, the XC8 here, they already predefined for you. Okay, in the other compiler like the Big C, CCS Big C here, they have some kind of function that help you to change the value, to set or to read the value. The input X will read and the output X will write. The other, the other function like the set twist B, set twist C, set twist D is similar to XC8 but they already defined in different weight. It is the compiler defined. So you have to search for help on the F1 button and then you read their document and follow the instruction. Okay, the other consideration is the signal values here. There are some limitations that you have to follow in the data sheet one is, is the sync or source currents that going in or going out to the microcontrollers okay according to the data sheet here you will find it in the electrical characteristic here okay for the pick 1f 18f 4550s here they tell us that the maximum current sink or source by any pins is maximum 25 million pairs. So in your circuits, make sure it's done reach the maximums here. Okay, the maximums by own parts here is 200. Okay, be aware that it's changed by the microcontroller. For example, in 16F887 here, the value is only 90 milliampers for all ports of the microcontrollers. Okay, by any IO pins is maximum of 25, but by all IO pins only 90s is allow for the others microcontroller okay here is 250 okay so take a look at the data sheet before design some circuit okay due to the very limited currents can go in or go out the microcontroller we might want to have some buffer or some driver that can drive larger load or higher load like the BJTs here you can output the signal here and control the BJT the current will flow to this BJT so you have uh, for example the device that consume one ampere here and you can select the BJT the transistor here to two or three amperes to make it works with the output of one ampere and you can have the other drivers like the U ULN 2003 here okay or you can use a relay so search on the internet for a lot you want to drive and then you will have the driver okay the MOSFET and the other driver of the MOSFET okay and so on 
So, uh, the next section of this video is the programming technique called the latching techniques. Okay, the latching techniques use three pins, data, clocks, and latch to generate more output. Uh, in this case, we use the IC, the integrate circuits called 7474XC595, a 8-bit chip register. Okay, it works like this. If you put the data in the data pins here and you make a pulse here or you you push one clock pulse in here the ta the data will shift to the IC for example I put the data one in here and I set one clock here the data one will move inside the buffer in here okay after some several clocks and data all the data is shipped down 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 here and after that i create one pulse in at the large pins all the data here will transfer to the output we can see the detail diagram of the ICs here is use the D flip flop okay the data pin number 14 here and the clock is number 11 here so you put the data here uh, and you set the one clock pulse here data will move to the output okay the, the inverse and non inverse and the output of one state we put as the data for the second state so when you whenever you have one pulse here the data will shift in here and then one more pulse the data will shift in the next state and so on so on for at here we have eight bit or a stage to ship the last pulse will ship the data out to the pins number nine okay after complete shipping on 8 bit here you can make a ship or clock pins to the large okay the second state it will ship everything in the first state here to the output okay we will demonstrate programming a system to control a seven segment LED here we have the seven pins to control this one segment A segment B C D E F and G so we put value 5 volt in here it will light up a segment A in here and so on this is for segment B C D E F and G okay i have already connect the data pins or the number 14 with the rc and the clock pins with the rc1 and so on the large pin with the rc2 so we program it for example i want to light up number zero here so i have to light turn on the LED A, B, C, D, E, and F and turn off the G so the data it should be in the programming I change the trish register in this case the trish C into 0 ok this means set the pins for output here from RC0 to RC7 okay and then I can put the data so look back in the circuit this one will ship out first so I put the data here for 0 to turn off the G segments here so 
So I put the data. Data are lot c bits dot lot c zero for data. Okay, it's a data bin, and I prepare the data is zeros here, and I create one clock bins. The clock bin is c one. This is clock. Okay, and then I put it one push. That means one changing value from zero to one. Okay, this is data, and this is a push of clock. One G for one push for the G, and then one, two, three, four, five, six pull, six pulls for F, E, D, C, B, and A. I want to turn it on to light up number zero. So I prepare the data here as one. Okay, I want to output five volts. And then I create this clock one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Okay, and here I will got number zero display. Okay, here we got six spoon. And then if you want to see the display, you have one more push that the large push. Let's see this dot lot c2 for the large pin 0 for large okay and then another one for creating one push we translate it and then check it out run okay in here you will see number zeros is in the data we ship first we come we go to the last segment okay remember this how about number one can we change it for b segment and c segment turn on and the others turn off so i count from g turn off e f e d turn up one two three four so i got the four pins turn off of mean zero this is one push two three four okay this is for the g this clock for f and this one for e this one for d okay and then the segment c and b i want to turn it on so I prepare the data as one and then this one is for C and this one is for B okay the last one A I want to turn it off so I prepare the data as zero okay data zero for A so then I will get the number one display. Let's check it out. Okay. All right, you got the number one. And so on. You can have number three, four, or five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on. So what if we ship the twos? Uh, I see the ship register here with the two seven segment LED. So what come first in the data will ship to the last. So instead, for example, I want to ship the this one for zero and this one for number one. So I have to think about this G segments here first. Okay, for number one here. The segment G is turned off, 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 and then only B and C turn on. So the first one is for G of the LED number two. Okay, LED number two. Let's remember. So we ship out the number one 
for this okay for this segment and then remember this this one is 8 bit and the LED is only 7 segments so we have here 1 bit uh, which is not connected to any segment so we have to create one more for the output number 8 here okay number 8 okay okay so we put it whether it's 1 or 0 is okay so the next one is for 0 of the first 7 segment LEDs so for the 0 I turn up the G's here so turn off this means 0 this means the G for LED number 1 okay and then turn on the F E D C B and A so this is turn on G F all right copy it okay E D C B and then A also turn on this will give you number zeros for the let the LED number one and this will give you the LED number two so the first data will ship to the last segment remember this and we build it and then we can run okay so we get here one one and zeros okay that's demonstrate the latching technique uh, this is your exercise so you repeat the videos with two digit two digit seven segment LEDs program it and design a circus and can you extend your exercise to four digit display okay thank you and see you next video